Oh. Shayna, I see you. Tell us about this guy. He is 35. He lives in St. Louis, no kids, no wife. In 2015, he came into the chat room and was like, I'm going to tip you anonymously so the chat room can't see it, but I want you to keep your clothes on. It's not just a sexual thing for him. He really wanted to get to know me as a person. And I wasn't married at the time when all of this kind of started, so I was this single divorcee. He purchased my personal phone number and we would text back and forth. Um, things kind of escalated. We had an emotional connection that makes you want to keep talking to someone. Has he ever paid to just to have a private video no. chat? Have you ever seen him? I've seen... <laughs> I've seen some pictures. Why haven't um, you video chatted? He won't. Good question. Have you guys tried to meet up? He makes an attempt to meet, but he never actually meets. Back in January 2016, I had purchased something for him, but because he wouldn't meet me, I could not give it to him. So I left it in my car and I told him, just open the car door, grab it out the seat. He left a card and a rose in my car. Wow. And I was like, wait a minute, he's willing to just show up at our house like this? Now it's become a safety thing. Like, I don't know if this guy's weird enough to come here and harm me or even snatch my kids up. I'm not happy about this. Time out. This is crazy. He flew from St. Louis to Arkansas and left something in your car and never said hello. Yeah. I know, and it's hard because he's sitting there like, why are you entertaining this? This isn't real. This isn't the person in the picture, but it's real to me. If John is real, do you think that that would be enough for you to leave Mike and have a new future with John? Um, yes. OK, clearly, if there's any hope for you guys, and I think that there is, we got to find out who John is so that you could all meet and we could try and help you figure this out. I don't want to meet him and I don't think physically I could withstand seeing this guy in his face. Whoa, oh. who's this, who's this? Do you know this guy? No idea. Don't know this guy. I don't think I do. Have we seen this guy? Hey. Hi. How you doing? All right. I'm Neve. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Miles. Miles, AKA John. Yeah. You met him. You don't recognize him? It's been some years. But does he look different? Yeah. I was 100 pounds heavier when I met her. OK. What took you so long to fess up? I was afraid what's going to happen. And the time that John stopped by her driveway and put something in her car, that, that was me. That was you. Mm -hmm. And do you live near there or no? Do you live in Ohio? Yeah. All the times I tried to meet you, I was down there. So you that you, was all real. How many times have you made that drive? I don't know. Around twenty or so. Right? I don't wow. Know. You must do pretty well to be able to be so yeah. generous. Yeah. Or are you giving her a lot of what you have? Uh, probably half and half of that, you know? I mean. So this is a big investment of your money at a time. Yeah. I guess. I love her, though. I just don't understand why you felt like you weren't good enough. Ooh, Jeepers Creepers. Does this mean we're going to deal with some, like, paranormal stuff, you think? Finally. Hi, Neve and Elle. My name is Angel. I'm 18, and my three-month-old son and I live with my mom just outside of Dallas, Texas. Just after I gave birth, I was lonely and went on plenty of fish to see if I could find someone to talk to. I got a message from this guy named Remy. He's my age, lives nearby, and he thought I was cute. He was the first guy I talked to since I had my son, and it was a relief that someone was interested in me. So we made plans to go to the movies, along with my best friend Mari. But when I went to the theater, he wasn't there. I messaged him, and he told me he was at home. He sent his address, so Mari and I went over. But we couldn't find him. What? Very oh. not cool. I told Remy I was there, and he then started saying he could see us. Sometimes I feel like I'm looking at you. And he was in a 
car right by us. I looked for him, but no one was there. Ooh, creepy. I'm a new mom, and I really don't have time for all this drama. If Remy and I are gonna have any chance at making this work, I need to figure this out ASAP. So wait a second, let's talk about the time that you went to where he, he gave you the address. What what happened? I'm like, okay, well, I'm here. And he was like, well, do you see me? And I'm like, no, I see a lot of people walking around, but I don't, I don't think that's you. He was like, well, are you wearing a highlight yellow jacket in a Nissan with the black bumper? And I'm looking around I'm like, yeah, but where are you? He's like, I'm in the car behind y'all. So I'm like, which one? And he never replied. Oh my gosh. Remy? Yeah. I'm Neve. I'm Elle. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? And uh, this is Angel. <sighs> hmm. Is your real name Remy? No, it's not my real name. What is your name? I don't want to see it. You're really not going to tell us your name? No. Or should we just call you Remy then, I yeah, guess? Yeah, you call me Remy. You guys already know each other? Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. Don't you think it's pretty f***ed up to be like, I want to help you take care of your baby? I want to be there? I never took it as like, we're in like a, a committed relationship. She just wasn't catching on quick enough. Right, but if the game was to mess with people, you would have just moved on. Nah, it was still, it was interesting to see her come around the house and like not find me. Like I'd be sitting inside a car somewhere else. Okay, so why don't you just walk us through the relationship, where, how you met? So um, I came across Jasmine's profile. We're on this dating app. She was very beautiful. She's a single mom and a nurse. There's some qualities there that I'm like, you know, I think she, she's mature. I don't think she would, you know, jerk me around a little bit. There was a Snapchat username on the profile. I added the Snapchat, and then we would just comment casually back and forth. And in the snaps, does she ever show her kid? Yeah. And she's snapping you directly? Not from the camera roll. Right. Every time I would question something, the Snapchat would kind of, like, pull me back in, because, like, I'm going to Disney. Right. In real time, the Snapchat's her and Disney. I feel like people can fake other social media, not Snapchat. And then you started texting and talking on the phone? Yes. It would be, before we knew it, eight hours on the phone. Whoa. Eight hours. I got lost in your love. When you see chemistry like that, feelings naturally start to develop. So we arranged to meet up, and I parked in front of the apartment. I looked up, and you could see, like, a shadow behind the um, shades. We were on the phone, and you can hear the anxiety. She's breathing heavy. No, I can't, I can't do this. And so I just, I left. So then we meet up again. It's Valentine's Day. I got a, a teddy bear, and she came down, and um, we talked a little bit through the door, hear her voice, and then she eventually brought a blindfold. She turned me around, and she put it on. She was holding my hands, and then, um, we talked for a little bit, and then she kissed me on the lips. You never touched her? You didn't hug or anything? No, she wouldn't let me. She like had my... She was like holding your hands yeah. down? And I didn't know if she at some point she was gonna pull the, the blindfold off right. and be like, okay. But then I realized that it's not gonna go any further at that point. I kind of got frustrated a little bit, and so I just, I left. You never thought about just hanging outside her place until she goes to work? Mm, I have. There's one time that I went there because I was just fed up. I ordered a pizza. The driver comes, he knocks, no one answers. He leaves the, the pizza there. I sit, I wait a little bit. But you never saw her? No. Have you tried searching her phone number? Um, I, I did reverse phone number searches, but I've never come up with like a name. Yeah, I did reverse image searches, but I couldn't find anything. You did everything uh, you could. Give me a second. Come on, now. Look, at least let me hold your hand. Give me a second. Come on, you got this. You're, you're already there. You're already there. It's over. Ready? Yeah. Oh, my God. Someone's coming out. Okay, good. Nice. That's it. It's almost, it's almost all it is. Know this person? This is Nicole. We're taking our time. 
Come on. Nicely done. Nick? Nicole? Nice to meet you. You've been the one talking to Nick the whole time? Okay. <sighs> so why? We've had months to just be honest. I don't want you to think that I'm some type of a malicious person, because I'm not. When I made the profile, I didn't even really talk to anybody. But then when I started talking to you, it was just like, it was easy, because just like, Let's just be real. You wouldn't look at me the same way that you looked at that person. Because I am not... <laughs> Sometimes I don't feel good about myself. Um, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I can't, I can't do this right now. I'm sorry. I didn't think that I was going to have this profile, talk to somebody like the way that I talked to you, and kept it going. You are a great guy. You didn't deserve that at all. You really, you really didn't. And my words, you know, like, I know they hold no weight. But I am seriously sorry that I did this to you. Oh, just, I just want to know, like, if what we had was genuine. Yeah. But are you in love with him? I truly am. Like, the way you are is just absolutely perfect. I have no... <laughs> excuses for what I did, because I know I hurt you. So tell us this whole story going all the way back to when you first met Shayna. Well, it started off on Facebook. I saw her and my people you may know, and instantly I just started hitting her up, and she replied back. She told me she was 21, and I was 17, so I felt like the big guy around campus and stuff, you know? Yeah, like, nice older thing, I like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we got into a relationship, and I was supposed to meet her in New Jersey, but she disappeared on me. Did she ever explain what happened or? The whole time that we've been talking, it's been excuses about everything. Like I got called into work or I got bad service, why we can't video chat. You kept talking obviously after. Mm -hmm. Like she always knew what to say to get me back. Yeah. So me and her was just talking. Then a year after she disappeared. And then I got a weird message in my email and it was her friend, Destiny Lopez. She said, hey, Shayna was my friend and she passed away. Had you ever heard of Destiny before or she just was a random friend of Shayna? Just a random person. Wow. So I was feeling heartbroken. I was hurt and I cared about her and I loved her. So I'm like, I just lost a girl that I never even met yet anyways, dude. It was like hard for me to move on. I was talking to other girls and stuff like that. And then I started dating other girls, but it was just hard. When Shayna died, did her Facebook yes. page go away or did it just disappear? It disappeared. Completely. And then two years later, I'm scrolling on Facebook and it says, People you may know, Shayna Vasquez. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, you find out from Shayna's friend that she died and you don't talk to her for two years. Two years. And then all of a sudden, she pops up. I'm and scrolling on Facebook and, and I start accepted. instantly hitting her with messages. I'm like, Are you kidding me? It's been two years I thought to you and done like that. Like, where the f you been? Like, what's going on? You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> wow, wow, back from the dead. Uh huh. And then she told me, I apologize. I've been going through stuff. I just got out of a bad relationship. It was a violent relationship, and I didn't know how to handle it and stuff. Like, she always needed to get me back. And when she popped back up, I was in a relationship. And what happened to that relationship? Oh, we broke up. I think it had something to do with Shayna being back? Uh-huh. She got me texting her and stuff like that, you know? Oh, so it was like, man. Yeah. Texting a like, dead girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you broke up with a real living person for a Facebook zombie? <laughs> uh-huh. You must really love Shayna. I do. I love her. 
Eight years is a long time to be waiting, man. We're gonna figure this out yeah. though. I'm ready. We got you. Actually, like three minutes before you guys got here, she actually hit me up. Really? She just said, just met Neve, still can't believe you did this. I saw her. I saw her. It's a picture of us. <laughs> I didn't even notice Walking that. Out. I saw that woman sitting in the lobby. Really? When we walked to the hotel, I saw a woman sitting in the lobby like this. And I she even and I us. even looked at her. Like you can see I'm looking at her. Cause I was like, that lady's kind of creepy sitting there, like I could tell she right. was taking pictures. And I didn't say anything. Oh. Shayna, I see you. Just Aww. go through wait, no, no, just go through the gates and at the V go up to the left fork. Alright, so here's the V, here's the gate. Is that her underneath the tree? No, that's someone who works. That here. can't be. Shayna is sneaky. Where is she? Who is she? She could be anyone. She saw us. We should see her pretty soon, right? Shayna. Oh, is there you? someone up on that bench? Yeah, it looks like up there. That's that's the only place she could have seen us from, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and she's looking too. Yeah, yeah, that must be her. Who else would be sitting up there all shady like that? Oh, they stood up. Hold on. Start walking. She's coming this way. This is a long walk of truth. Word. I'm trying to get a better look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How you doing? I'm Neve. Hi. Hi. Of course, you know CJ. But we don't know who you are. Rebecca. Rebecca. OK, nice to finally meet you. Do you want to explain what's going on here? I don't, I don't even know where to start. What, what's your deal? I, I mean, what of Shayna is true? What's not true? Who, who are you? I think Shayna, as a general person, that's really who I am. Yeah, maybe the but, personality. Yeah. I got a question. So this whole time you was in Syracuse? Yeah. Why did you tell me that you live in New Jersey? I made up, like, New Jersey and other places I lived to try to, like, get away from the situation because I felt bad. How did you keep it for, like, eight years? Like, just didn't tell anybody. I understand the, the original reason for making the Shana profile was something else. But when you met CJ, was it just for fun to talk to him? or did I, re you... I really cared about, like, I really started having feelings for him. Right, but and but he was 17, and you're not in your 20s. No offense. How old are you? 38. Wow. So, OK, you were 30 when you met him. Yeah. I didn't really think about but it. But you knew he was 17 when you met him. Yeah. That's kind of messed up. Like, it's one thing to, to mess with people your own age, but, like, to mess with a kid for eight years of his, like, young adult life? We read your story, and we're really fascinated. Can you kind of tell us the whole thing from the beginning? In 1999, my father had a mental breakdown, and he ended up killing my mom. And a few years later, after being in prison, he had another mental breakdown and took his own life. Wow. Yeah, that's really intense and terrible. Do you do you remember any of that, or you were too young, kind of? I remember my dad, but with the situation with my mom, I don't really remember a whole lot. Who did you end up living with? I lived with my grandma, my father's mother. OK, so two years ago, out of the blue, you just get this email. Can you explain how yeah, that yeah. happened? Or Courtney what? sent me a Facebook message saying she talked to my dad. She's like, you might not believe me, but if you could, please message me back as soon as you can, and we can talk about everything. And at first, I was in shock, and I didn't know what to think. She knew things like the brand of cigarettes he smoked, how he liked his cheeseburgers with ketchup only, and she knew how he liked his bologna sandwiches and what kind of ice cream he liked. Nobody on this earth should really know some of the certain things that she knows. She says she's a medium, and I mean, I really believe her. Did you mention the message to anybody in your family? 
Yeah, I talked to my grandma about it. She's actually the one who kind of pushed me into messaging her back. When we first started talking to Courtney, my grandma had questions, and the questions my grandma had was exactly how my dad had passed away. Courtney gave us the answer. She said that my dad told her that it was something to do with suffocation and the throat. Wow. And, and I guess that's how he took his own life in prison? Yes. Well, I guess the big question for me is like, what's in it for her? Does she yeah. tr does she ask you for money? Do you send her stuff? No, nope. uh, she actually sends me stuff. And what kind of stuff does she send you? For my baby shower, she sent me a $25 gift card and a little card with it. I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, yeah, I've never been more hooked on a story in the history of the show. It's tragic. It's out it's, of this world. It's out of this world. It's hard to believe, but yeah. we'd love to help you. So let us fly to Kentucky and see if we can figure out what's going on. Thank you so much. I really need professional help because I can't do this on my own. We might all need professional help after this. <laughs> At this point, we're really not sure. There's a lot of evidence to show that this woman's just sort of a very sophisticated internet sleuth and con artist. She seems. Wow, that was oh, fast. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay, this must be Eric uh, or Eric. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi, this is Neve. Who's this? Hi, this is Erica. How are you? Hey, Erica. Great. Thank you so much for uh, getting back to me. We're just trying to find out a little bit more about uh, your friend Courtney. Okay. Can you just tell me how you know Courtney? We met about maybe close to nine years ago. She and her family moved directly next door to us, and they very quickly became part of our family. Has she ever mentioned someone that she speaks to online named uh, Kayla? Uh, yes, I have heard her name. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about the nature of Courtney and Kayla's relationship? Yes, it's Frankie who is kind of like a, um, <laughs> a unique member of the family, basically. And you, you understand the circumstances under which Courtney and Frankie are communicating? I do, and I can understand um, why Kayla would want some answers. Are you Courtney? Of course I am. Wow. Hi. Hi. Neve. Neve. You have your dad's eyes. <laughs> oh. You have your dad's eyes. Hi, honey. Oh. Are you telling the truth? Of course I am. Oh, of course I am. I would never, ever make something up like this that could be so, you know, potentially hurtful. I just, I knew that the situation was so strange. You know, the more I talked with your dad, the more I realized, you know, something good has to come out of this. And I wanted to be able to give you that peace of mind. I wanted to be able to give you um, maybe some closure. 